Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today we're going to be working in ZBrush 4R8 to be exact. And what I'm going to show you guys is how you can import a, an OBJ model into ZBrush and apply an existing uh, texture map to it. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, well, we're in ZBrush 4R8 to be exact. And today I'm going to show you guys a couple of fairly basic things that I think are important for you to know when you get started in ZBrush. So it will make the experience a lot more fun, okay? So first of all, I'm gonna show you guys how to bring in an existing model, and I'm also gonna show you how to apply an existing texture to that model. So if you already have a texture map baked in another software package and you wanna apply it to your model in ZBrush, I'll show you how to do that. And then finally, I'm gonna show you how to put that model on a turntable, uh, create a movie of that turntable and export it, okay? Now, before we get started, I need to do a shout out to the Ask ZBrush channel. Um, I got this question from a subscriber and he saw this video, or actually multiple videos on the Ask ZBrush channel, uh, but uh, regardless, uh, asked me to make the same video basically, okay? So happy to do that, but uh, credit where credit is due, so a shout out to those guys, okay? And I'll put a link below to their channel. All right, so let's get started. So we're gonna load up our model first. I'm gonna go up to import, and I got this on my download folder here, and the model that I'm gonna use is called May, which is this one, and I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna left click and drag, hold down shift, snap that, click on edit, and click on make poly mesh 3D. Now, that's all loaded. Uh, where did I get this model? I got it off of the uh, Render People website, and I'll put a link below where you can get this for free, okay? And I actually did a video on those guys a while back. Okay, so first of all, you see that our model is covered in red wax. We don't want that, so I'm going to click on my material and I'm going to switch to skin shader to make that white. Then I'm going to go up to the texture menu. And in the texture menu, I'm going to go to import. I'm going to go to my desktop. That's where I got the diffuse map that has already been created, which is this one right here. I'm going to click on it and click on open. Now, once I do that, it has now been added to that library, okay? It, doesn't, uh, it hasn't been applied yet, but it has been added. So what I can do next is go to the right to texture map and click on this button right here and select the one that has just been added, which is this one right here. So I'm gonna click on it and the one I do, don't be surprised if it looks a bit funky. We'll give it a sec, there you go. For the simple reason that sometimes when you load in texture maps, they will be upside down, okay? So we need to go back up to the texture menu and we're gonna go and make sure that one is selected. And we'll give that a second and then we're gonna go to flip vertically. All right, then we're gonna get out of this. We're gonna go back to our texture map. We're gonna re-click on this guy and we're gonna go and re-click on the texture. And that should fix everything. And as you can see, it has, perfect. So that's how you do that. And you can see that this is a very, very detailed model. So it's kind of cool, all right? Okay, so we're gonna talk about how to create a uh, turntable. Now that's pretty easy. We're gonna go up to movie and we're gonna go and simply click on turntable. Now, when you do that, you see that May rotates around once and she's done. But we want a little bit more control over that. So I'm gonna go back into that menu and I'm gonna delete that video that has been saved or at least buffered for the simple reason that we get all our options back. Okay, so we're gonna go back in and uh, let's see what do I wanna do here. I'm gonna dock it. I'm gonna click on this little guy right here. So it's gonna move it up to the top right corner and we can see everything better. And now I have a couple of options. Do I want to create a, a recording of the window, which is everything you see, including the uh, ZBrush interface, the buttons and everything else, or do I just want to see the document, which is basically May? Now I'm gonna click on document, that's what I want. I want the largest possible option. So I'm gonna click on large. And then I got a couple of things that I can do here. I can go down to uh, overlay image and here that uh, shows a logo. I'm gonna push that opacity to zero. I don't wanna see that logo, okay? And then I can go in and let's see what else we got. I can go in to a title image. Now I don't want that either. So I'm gonna push that down and push that down. So we're all good. And now what I can do is I can um, kind of do a preview of my movie here and see what it looks like, okay? So we're gonna hit turntable. Okay, 
it went all the way around and it looks okay. So now I'm gonna actually hit play movie. So it's gonna be overlaid here. You can see we don't have any logos. We didn't have any fading going on, that's fine. Now, the only thing here is that May rotates once. Now, what if I want her to move uh, or to rotate multiple times? Now, what I can do is simply just re-click on that turntable button. So when I click on it again, it adds one full rotation to the already existing recording, okay? And I'll do it one more time, just make sure it's done. That would be number three. Okay, and now that these are all in place, what I can do is I can go to export my movie. Now, um, I can either just simply click on export and choose settings, or I can click on this little H here, which will give us the highest quality there is. So click on that, and then we're gonna click on export. I did a little uh, test here, so I'm gonna just overwrite that on my desktop, and we'll just call this a ZBrush Movie 1. All right, let's save that out. And here's our final movie, guys. So that's all there's to it. Hopefully you enjoyed this little video. If you've got any questions, let me know as always. And uh, thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time. Okay, bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.